waterproofing a pile foundation plinth. The substrate is cleaned by washing with high pressure water. The surfaces that need to be waterproofed are treated with plastimol diluted with 45% of water, which acts as a primer. The next step is to apply the first coat of neat plastimol. The second coat of plastimol allows you to form the thickness required to waterproof the structure. Before backfilling the structure, the waterproofed surfaces are protected with polyfond kit drain. Pile repairing. The substrate is prepared by hydro scarifying. Holes are then drilled in the surface and all the dust is cleaned off. The next step is to anchor L-shaped steel hooks in the holes with Mapafix VESF. The laying of the new reinforcement is completed by fastening an electro-welded mesh to the hooks. Mapper Shield I anodes are fastened to the steel reinforcement to provide galvanic cathodic protection against corrosion. The substrate is then wetted and the first layer of Mapper Grout Easy Flow is applied. While the first layer of Mapper Grout Easy Flow is still fresh, the surface is roughened with a notched trowel to help improve adhesion of the next layer of mortar. The second layer of Mapigrout Easy Flow is then applied. The surface of the mortar is leveled off with a metal straight edge. The finishing is completed by floating. Once the repair work has been completed, a layer of map elastic guard is applied. Repairing reinforced concrete bearing element. The deck is raised using a series of hydraulic jacks. The old support is removed from the reinforced concrete bearing element. The substrate is prepared by mechanically removing the old concrete. Laying the wooden formworks along the perimeter of the reinforced concrete element. To prevent the repair mortar sticking to the surface of the wood, the inside of the formwork is coated with form release agent DMA1000. The inside of the formwork is also sealed with Mapasil BM to prevent the mortar seeping out after it has been poured into the formwork. The reinforced concrete bearing element is repaired by pouring Planigrout 300 into the formwork. After removing the formwork, a new rubber support is placed. Work is completed by lowering the deck back into place. Joint repairing. The old joint along with a portion of the bitumen conglomerate are removed from the surface of the road. The deck is prepared by mechanically removing the old concrete. Mappe band TPE is then bonded inside the joint with a Desilex PG4. A coat of Primer RM is applied to help improve adhesion of the next layer of mortar. Mappe floor EP90 is spread on with a trowel to even out the support bed for the new joint. Holes are drilled in the deck, all the dust is removed, and rebar is anchored in the holes with Planibond BA100. After positioning the new joint, it is fastened in place. Holes are drilled and all the dust is removed. Tie rods are anchored in the holes with Planibond BA100 and the steel nuts are tightened. Drainage channels with a protective stocking are positioned along the sides of the joint. The substrate is wetted before applying Mapigrout Easy Flow. The repair work is completed by filling the slots in the joint with Mapiflex PU65. Curb repairing. The substrate is prepared by mechanically scarifying. The wooden formwork is positioned along the edges of the curb. The concrete substrate is wetted and then repaired by pouring Mapigrout Betentec HPC into the formwork. To prevent the mixing water evaporating too quickly from the grout, the surface is treated with Mapicure CA. Holes are then drilled in the curb and all the dust is cleaned off. Tie rods are anchored in the holes with EpoJet. 
The steel nuts are tightened to fasten the support structure for the guardrail and anti-noise barriers in place. The repair work is completed by erecting the anti-noise safety barriers. Waterproofing a road deck. The area to be treated is prepared by removing the existing layers down to the load-bearing structure. The substrate is then prepared by shot blasting. Uneven areas in the substrate are leveled off by applying Mapiflor I-910, fillerized with Quartz 1.9 with a spreader. The surface is treated with a coat of Primer SN and then broadcast with Quartz 0 0.5. When the primer has hardened, any excess sand is removed with a vacuum cleaner. The next step is to apply Poor Top 400M using a bimixer high pressure pump. Then a coat of Poor Top Primer Black is spread over the surface and broadcast with Quartz 1.2. When the primer has hardened, any excess quartz is removed with a vacuum cleaner. Then apply the hot bonding layer for asphalt made from modified bitumen. The intervention is completed by applying the asphalt.